What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I'm here today to do a random music collection update video. Um, it's not so often I do these kinds of videos, but I've acquired a lot of really, really awesome CDs, vinyls, and tapes for over the last while or so. Uh, and I just want to run by them as quickly as possible. So I'm going to do the CDs first, then the tapes and then the vinyls. So let's get the CDs out of the way. These are all CDs that I've acquired through distros, direct from bands, assorted other stuff. But um, anyways, first off, we have Marduk with um, Heaven Shall Burn When We Are Gathered. I ordered this from Redstream. Uh, this is my second favorite Marduk album behind Panzer Division Marduk. I mean, really... One of the best, most accurate representation of Marduk as a great Swedish black metal band, and I really, really enjoy this album. I mean, The Black Tormentor of Satan. I mean, the last three tracks of this album are just so incredibly amazing. I love this album very much. Next, Suffocation, Despise the Sun EP. Definitely, still to this day, my favorite suffocation release of the current 2000s material i mean this was the first release to have kevin tally on the drums and i mean just some ins insane musicianship going on i mean i love the riffs i love the heaviness i love everything i mean for it being such a short ep it gets the job done so smoothly next is a brutal death metal album i've been wanting to get my hands on for years but now i finally got my hands on it this is uh cephalotripsy Uterovaginal Insertion of in Extirpated Anomalies. Yeah, controversial album cover, controversial songs. I mean, this is just an entertaining record. I mean, if you're a brutal death metal fan and you don't have this in your collection, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's worth the hype, I'd say. Next, Disgorge with Consume the Forsaken. Really, really awesome album. I mean, this was one of the... This was the third album in the Disgorge discography, and really, I loved AJ's vocals, I loved the riff work, I loved the lyrical content. I mean, this is really just an incredible Disgorge record. I'd have to say this is probably my favorite. If I had to pick between either this or Parallels or Infinite Torture, I would say Consume the Forsaken is definitely one of the best. Next, I got this directly from the band. This is Evangelist with Omen X Simulacra. Uh, one of the best death metal albums from last year. Really, really bang up album. Very, very scary sounding death metal. And it comes on a black CD. So, very crazy to see this kind of album put on a black CD. Really, really incredible album. Next, Embalmed, Brutal Delivery of Vengeance, Corpse Gristle Records version. Really, really awesome Texas death metal. Definitely a band worth supporting. Next, I got this directly from Mr. John Hall himself. This is uh, Sadistic Butchering with um, Sculptor of Flesh on the Inherited Suffering and Opsis Records. Really, really awesome, awesome album. And of course, if you see on the CD, you see the, the actual CD and the digital logos on here, which I think is really, really incredible. Now we're getting into 2014 territory. First off, this is currently in my top 20 list of the best albums of this year, and if you don't have this album, definitely make an effort to buy it. Trench Rot with Necronomic Warfare. Absolutely amazing old-school death metal. Definitely recommended for old-school death metal fans. I love this album very much. It is a great, great surprise. Next up, Altar of Beetlejuice with Darkness Sustains the Silence on Memento Mori Records. Really, really awesome Stoner Doom from Finland. Really, really good songwriting going on on this album, and really, really a great album to listen to. Next up, Human Infection with Curvatures in Time. Incredible death metal from a very, very good band with so much potential going on. It's on Blasthead Records. Definitely make an effort to buy this if you ever see it. Next up, Goatcraft. The Blasphemer, um, really incredibly nihilistic 
neoclassical music with death metal song structuring. I mean, this is a really, really amazing album, and it's much, much better than the debut. And the great thing about it is this full-color booklet with a painting for each single song and commentary for each single track, which I think is just phenomenal. And all the more reason for anybody to buy a physical copy of something, because you have something really, really amazing to look at. So definitely support GoCraft. And these last two CDs I got from Hell's Headbangers, and they are both of the Slayer variety. The first one I'm going to show you is something that is very, very meaningful to my uh, to my city and state, and I'm glad this was able to have been made into a reissued CD. This is S.A. Slayer with Go for the Throat. This features their debut full length and their EP Prepare to Die. Uh, this is released on Skull Records. Very, very awesome job here. And I'm going to take out the CD, and it has some classic flyers from the early days, the old days. Really, really incredible power metal. And of course, the ever infamous Slayer versus SA Slayer concert. Really, really awesome stuff if you ever look up this kind of stuff. And the last CD, since we're on the topic of Slayer, let's get on to the Slayer everybody knows. And uh, this was this was apparently released last year to commemorate, not commemorate, but uh, honor the um, memory of uh, late Slayer guitarist Jeff Hanneman. And what some may consider a bootleg, this is really something done with a lot of love and care. And I'm talking about Seeds of Horror, the Jeff Hanneman demos, 1985. This features a lot of material that was handcrafted by Jeff Hanneman over the years from the early 80s to the later 90s, including some songs that were included on the Undisputed Attitude album, all the punk covers that he did. I mean, just some really, really intelligent stuff. And the liner notes on here are a little bit hard to read, but this album was crafted with a lot of love and care. And if you are a fan of Slayer or anything that Jeff Hanneman has done, this is definitely something for you to check out if you are a, if you are a fan of Slayer or anything that Jeff Hanneman ever did. This is an incredible compilation, and I'm glad to have owned, bought it. Now we're going to move on to the tapes. And I got some rarities to show you at the very end of the tape collection. Uh, first tape I'm going to show you is courtesy of my very good friend Sean, a.k.a. Count Blagareth. He recently released something on his uh, Celestial Oak Records label. And the release in question is uh, De Yule with um, Acceptance Rebuilt. Uh, this is, of course, distributed through Warg Records. Um, very nice white tape, good little clamshell quality. And it's number 20 out of 77. Really, really awesome, awesome release and very bang up job done here. Next up is a demo Nuclear Hellfrost. Self-released demo, very, very DIY, do-it-yourself kind of quality, nuclear fucking devastation. Um, if you're into black metal, grindcore, thrash, this band has a mixture of all three, and it's definitely a band for you to be supporting and checking out. Next up is something I got directly from the band when I saw them live a couple of months ago. I was not, not, not a couple of months ago, actually at the beginning of the month, excuse me. This is Dead Horse with Peaceful Death and Pretty Flowers. This is probably one of the most well-known releases under the Dead Horse banner. Of course, it has the Dead Horse logo on the tape and everything. And it's got some really well-known songs like Codpiece Face, like Azriel, the Rock Lobster cover. I think it's really, really awesome. Definitely crossover thrash and, and metal that that's definitely ahead of its time very very influential band next up got this from caligari records this is fuoco fatuo the viper slithers in the ashes of what remains really really good italian death doom on a black tape very very well well conceived and well crafted it's definitely an awesome album and definitely recommended for fans of death doom these next four titles I got directly from Graceless Records. The first two are releases through Iron Bonehead Productions. 
First up, we have Blasphirian with Allegiance to the Will of Damnation on a black pro tape. Really, really awesome Texas death metal. Definitely a band to be supportive of when it comes to the Texas death metal scene. And next is a release from 2013. AMSG, Anti-Cosmic Tyranny, uh, Ad Majorum, Satana Gloriam. Once again, on a black tape, and I'm going to take out the uh, J card, and it has the artwork from the album itself. There's going to be a vinyl version in the works, so as soon as the vinyl version is out, I will definitely buy this. This is really, really top quality, ugly, raw, hateful Canadian black metal. Next up, some stuff from Lycus. This is the uh, demo from Lycus. This was released through Graceless Recordings, and this is, I believe, the second press of it. This is number 144 out of 200, and it's released on a green... I don't know if you can really see that or not, but it's a green clamshell kind of cassette tape. Really, really awesome stuff. And, of course, we have the debut full-length from Lycus entitled uh, Tempest. Uh, it's on a black pro tape. Uh, licensed through 20 bucks spin. This is one of the best albums of last year. Definitely support this great band. And last, as far as the newer tapes is concerned, I showed you the CD. I also got the tape as well. This is The Blasphemer by Goatcraft. This was distributed through uh, Forbidden Records, and it's on a blue shell tape. Really, really awesome neoclassical. Now, these next, these next set of tapes I'm about to show you are through a very good friend of mine. I don't know if any of you guys are subscribed to either Luke Hammerhart or Count Blagareth, but they've done videos and showcased uh, acquirings through a kid by the name of Gus Lister. Uh, he's a kid based out of Nevada, and he's sold them both some really, really top quality black metal stuff. And because of those videos, I was able to get it. He was able to get a hold of me. And basically, he sold me some really, really great, great stuff. And I want to show you some of these things. And some of these things are very rare. Uh, these first couple of tapes I'm going to show you are through Children of the Night. They recently reissued some black metal releases. And one of them is Zaster's Telepathic with the Deceased. This was on a red cassette tape, and it came in this really nice little sleeve with the Zaster logo. Nice little uh, gold sticker to seal things up and put it away properly. Really awesome. And the other release is probably one of my favorite black metal debuts when it comes to U.S. black metal. And that is Leviathan's The Tenth Sublevel of Suicide. It's on a black pro tape, and of course you got the little design right here. And I don't know if you're able to see it or not, but it came in this really cool uh, silver case. It has the Leviathan logo on here, and it has the sticker for Children of the Night on here, which is really, really amazing. Next up, we got Mournful Congregation with the June Frost. This was the album that they came out with prior to, before, soon after, before they released the Book of Kings. Comes on a really cool white tape. Great, great layout, lyrics, and everything. Really incredible Australian doom. Now we're going to get on to the rarities of, of the tapes. First off, um, we got The Abyss with The Other Side. This is one of the older Nuclear Blast release titles. And um, if I'm not mistaken, Peter Totgren and some of the original members of uh, Hypocrisy were involved in this release. So this is a release that I don't really see too many people talk about, but this is some really old school uh, death metal. If you are a fan of the old Hypocrisy sound, definitely listen to this release. It is incredible. Next up... A death metal classic, in my opinion. Ripping Corpse, Dreaming with the Dead. Uh, released through Craze Records. Um, original version. This is an original tape. Of course, you have the masterminds known as uh, Sean Kelly and Eric Rutan playing on this 
on this album, and it is just an absolute work of death metal art, in my opinion. Next up, got some old Wild Rags classic stuff. First off is Torture Crypt with Bestial Mutilation. Uh, old school style demo tape. Um, original layout with the uh, artwork and the band photos. Yeah, really, really old school. And it's and I'm amazed that it's still in good condition as it's that it came in. Really, really amazing, amazing release. And definitely a classic band in its own right. And last but not least, Internal Bleeding with Invocation of Evil. Yep. The Masterminds of New York Death Metal, Internal Bleeding, uh, original track listing on here. Very well, well taken care of layout here. Really, really amazing death metal demo. Internal Bleeding are one of the landmark bands in New York death metal, I'd say. And really, really awesome, awesome release. So, once again, thank you, Gus Lister, for these tapes. And, yeah. He may have something for you, too, if you ever get a hold of him. He's really, really awesome. So, yeah. Thank you. Last but not least, we get to the wax part of this video. And that is the vinyls. Uh, first off, Suffocation, Human Waste, the legendary Human Waste release, um, yeah, and the re demo from 1990, and this is released on a very thick, nicely done red vinyl on here. I'm trying to be very careful with taking some of these vinyls out, because I'm not trying to get anything uh, particularly damaged or anything like that, so... Yeah, bear with me here, folks. Yeah. Nice red vinyl color here. Yeah, very, very well done, I'd say, on this release. Glad I was able to get a hold of it, because I've always wanted to inquire on getting more older suffocation releases. Slip this back in here. Sorry for the delay on this. Okay. Next, I bought this directly from the band when I saw them live earlier in the year. This is uh, Mammoth Grinder with Underworlds. Really, really tripped out, punked out death metal from Austin, Texas. They rule live and definitely are a band worth supporting. Next up, probably one of my favorite thrash releases from last year. This is um, Birth AD with I Blame You. Excellent crossover thrash from Austin, uh, Unspeakable Axe, War on Music release, and it comes in this really badass printed inner sleeve with uh, the photos and lyrics on the other side, and it came on this really, really badass green vinyl with some nice hazy effects to it, side A and side D, really, really incredible release, definitely worth it, I'd say. There's a poster in here too, but I'm not really going to try to show off too much posters because I don't want the video to run on too, too long here. Next up, another one of my favorite releases from 2014. This is uh, Sun and Over with Terrestrials. Absolutely amazing, amazing collaborative effort. Your typical Southern Lord release on a very, very stocky kind of jacket and a very, very thick lustrous red vinyl yeah very very beautiful packaging and the music is top-notch as well it is definitely worth it next up another shout out to Count Blagareth and Celestial Oak Productions this is a deal with acceptance rebuild beautiful work done on this package um, of course, you got another really badass printed inner sleeve with the lyrics and the artwork. And this really, really cool marbled red vinyl. Very, very beautiful work done on this vinyl color. Definitely worth the listen and then some. I'm very, very proud of him for accomplishing what he's done in, in such a great matter of time. 
Next, one of my favorite Grindcore releases of this year finally came in. This is Gripe with In His Image on uh, Hygiene Records, Witch Bukaki Records. Excellent, excellent release. And this came on a really badass splatter vinyl. Blue vinyl with red and dark red splatter. Really, really great grindcore release. Continuing on with the grindcore styles, this is currently sitting atop my album of the year list right now. This is a Grid Link with Long Henna. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful album. The packaging on this is absolutely amazing. Comes with a really good booklet and a very beautiful clear blue vinyl. Top-notch job done here with this vinyl color. Really, really beautifully done. Very beautifully made. Excellent, excellent release. And now these last five vinyls are through Hell's Headbangers. I'm going to start with the old school releases and then move my way on to the new school releases. First off, Death Metal Mandatory, in my opinion. Autopsy Severed Survival. 2009 Peaceville reissue. This is death metal right here. I fucking love it. Um, printed inner sleeve with classic photos and lyrics. And there is a giant poster in here of the alternate artwork. Both album covers were Severed Survival Rule, but I'm glad they at least acknowledged the other album cover with the big giant poster in here. Next up, Morbosidad, self-titled. This is the Die Hard Edition. Very nice gatefold with the artwork and the lyrics. Other side with the uh, original lineup of the first Morbosidad album. And it comes on a very dark red vinyl. And it also came with a sticker, a patch, and a big poster. So, very, very good stuff here. Now is probably another fun release from Hell's Headbangers. Mortician with Chainsaw Dismemberment. This is my personal favorite Mortician record because of how garish and over the top it is. It's absolutely incredible. Came with this really cool OBI strip. Obviously I can't fit it on because both vinyls are in here. A uh, giant poster of the artwork itself. Um, really killer gatefold. Leatherface style gatefold. And of course you have the vinyl itself. The first vinyl is on a sick blue splatter. Blue vinyl with white splatter. And then here comes the cooler thing. This is the red vinyl of the second LP. And you have this mortician stuff etched on the D side. Which is really, really incredible. But uh, anyways... This is my favorite Mortician release. It's the most over-the-top and the most fun release, in my opinion. Next up. This has been an album that's been talked about a lot within the death metal underground as of lately. But I'm glad this is getting a lot more exposure through Nuclear War now. And I'm talking about Urkalian Oracle with Grave Ecstasis. I might have said that wrong, and I apologize for that. But anyways... This is a great, great piece of death metal from Sweden. Uh, Grave Ecstasis. Grave Ecstasis, excuse me. And it's on a red vinyl. I'm, I want to get the Die Hard version too. I mean, I already own this album and I'm glad to have it, but I just want to get that other version with the, the flag and the uh, tote bag. <laughs> I don't know. Really, really awesome death metal. And the last vinyl I'm going to show you is an album that I will be reviewing very, very soon. If you have this and you want to get it on vinyl, please get it on vinyl because they are going to go very quickly. And I'm talking about Titan Blood with Death. Probably one of the best Black Death bands to come out of Spain in a very, very long time. Uh, I'm not going to give away too much about this album, but let's just say this could be a new standard for what old school death metal is and what it could potentially sound like. So, yeah, that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to conclude this video. Thanks all for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Ho out.